everyone. This is Research Ethics in Social Sciences class. So starting with the contents, you see there will be five main chapters in this course. Uh, the first one is what is science and research. The second one is what are research methods in social sciences. And the third chapter is what is the concept of ethics and morals. And the fourth one, what is research ethics in social sciences? And the last chapter is, what are ethical violations? So, what is science and research? This is a very general question to start with, you know. First of all, uh, the main characteristics of science. Before making a general definition, it would be uh, better to, uh, to, uh, to, to, to state the main characteristics of science. First of all, uh, science is regular knowledge. The, secondly, addressing a specific part of the universe or events as the subject. And as the third one, trying to make laws based on experimental methods and reality. As you see, these are three main characteristics of science. Based on these characteristics, now we can make a general definition. Common name of mental activities based on objective observation and systematic experiment on the objective world and the facts in this world. What about the virtue ethics? Virtue ethics is the dominant moral theory in ancient and medieval philosophy. As Frankena point, points out, morality throughout its history has been concerned with the development of certain virtues in humans. In the 20th century, Virtue ethics entered a period of revival after the publication of Anscombe's article Modern Moral Philosophy in 1958. Both deontological ethics and consequentialist ethics focus on rules of, or principles and individual actions. According to them, the question of what should I do, do, what should I do is important. How should I live according to virtue ethics? What kind of life should I lead? What kind of person should I be? Are other questions can be, which can be given as examples. The most common forms of scientific fraud are plagiarism, which is, the, which is maybe the most common one, falsification of data, or redundant or duplicate cost. Making compelling conclusions without precise data for early promotion. For instance, this is also another uh, type of scientific fraud. Gift writing, receiving and giving, for instance. In other words, um, to, uh, to offer someone else, uh, the, the, to write for someone else, sorry, to write for someone else without having any contribution from that person, but writing only his or her name on the, on the paper. The jury does not pay enough attention and importance to the academicians and the documents to be examined in tasks such as scientific examination and evaluation, expert witness and referee in academic promotions, making biased evaluations, etc. Starting with the first one, repetition or duplication, we see that republishing an already published publication in a different place is called repetition. What about slicing? Publishing in different journals by unnecessarily breaking up a research in such a way that it loses its integrity is also called slicing. Yes, this is the end of our presentation and our course. Thank you very much for your uh, patience, for your attention. I hope this was useful and beneficial for you. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much and hope to, hope to meet you in another course. Thank you very much. Bye.